The biggest win in this scenario is that now young women have role models. Young women see that women are trusted with some of the toughest uh, tasks in the country. This is huge. It matters a lot for a young woman to grow up saying that I could become a president or maybe even a prime minister. And now it has become normal for people to say, we need more women in this board room. We need more women in this legal council. This is going to have an impact, a lasting impact, I hope. But the problem should not be seen as something that can easily be fixed if we put just enough women in different positions. But that the society has to be able to consider women as equals and as capable. These changes up top, unless they effectively are cascaded down to every level, the impact on the grassroots is going to remain limited. If the women in power believe in equality and social change, as we hope they do, uh, that means that they will put that in practice in everything they do. If they are responsible for education, the education policies will have representation as a central issue. But that requires that, it's not just that you are a woman, but it requires that you are a woman who understands gender equality and what needs to be done in that. One of my concerns is that I hope that the community doesn't suddenly start thinking that, well, your questions have been answered, you have half the cabinet positions, and so basically the issue of women has been sorted. So to me, that is a serious danger, actually. And I borrow an example from the American political space in that after the presidency of Barack Obama, everyone thought the issue of race has been handled and that the, the difference that made is going to last a long time. And there was serious backlash to that. So to me, I wonder if we are going to have the same kind of resistance to women in leadership. The other hope is that the country and different spaces become safe for women. So when I say safe, I mean workplaces safe from sexual harassment, universities safe from sexual harassment and assault. Overall, any space, any street, so that women feel like this city is safe for them. Find a local organization or at least a group of people hoping to start something and you can support in two ways. The most important one, obviously funding is important, but also activism skills, advocacy tools and things like that. They might sound very simple, but it's necessary. And also on how to adapt them to this context. We could always learn from one another. And there is things that we are doing here that are working effectively, but they could be better. And always make sure that support is rooted in supporting local organizations so that it can be sustainable instead of starting a new one from scratch. What happens here, the fate of women here is connected to the, to the rest of the, the world as well. To me, even investing and working in your own communities, ensuring higher standards of protection for women's rights, it's just an example for what is possible. F fighting for the values that we think are important, or protecting women's rights, building sisterhood, even in those communities, and building a sisterhood that is very inclusive, that's very diverse, it sets a standard. Having women in leadership is not the end game. Transforming society is the end game.